Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today in this video we are going to learn how we can get or fetch the record IDs of current record in Salesforce flows. And specifically in this video we are going to talk about fetching of the current record ID in the Salesforce screen flows. So before starting the flow I will first tell you what are the record IDs. So in Salesforce every record whether it is account, contact or opportunity or even a custom object have a unique identifier. So that is what a record ID is. So I will show you a record ID for an object record that is account so for that i will navigate to the accounts tab so in the accounts tab when you go to the url after the account slash that is object name slash you will see this 15 digit code appearing in the url so this is the record id of current account record and for the account the prefix is 00 so here you can see it begins with 001 so for standard objects the record id is of 15 digit and for the custom objects the record id of 18 digit so in Salesforce flows, we need the record ID when you have to manipulate or display data related to a specific record within the flow. So whether you are updating fields, creating related records or calling Apex, you will need the record ID to tell Salesforce exactly which records you are working with. So now we will move to the flow setup to see how we can get the record ID in flows. So here I am on the setup page of Salesforce Lightning and here in the quick find box, we will search and select flows. So right now I'm in the flow setup window and when we talk about getting the record ID or fetching the record ID in the flow then the process for the record trigger flow is very straightforward. So for example I've created this record trigger flow opportunity auto delete to delete the record. So this record trigger flow is deleting the opportunity record when the conditions are true. So here we don't need to define that how the flow will fetch the current ID. So here this flow is deleting the record. So when I will open this component that is delete records. So here you can see there is an option use the ID stored in the record variable or the collection variable and from here we can select the object or the collection variable and according to that the flow will face the ID of the record. So in record trigger flow we don't need to define it but in the Salesforce screen flow we need to define the variable to face the current record ID. So let's see how we can face the record ID in the Salesforce screen flow and before that I will just take few seconds to introduce our newly launched sales admin course. So first let me show you the course content. So this is our newly launched the Salesforce admin course and I will also mention the course link in the description from where you can access and view the course. So we have designed this course specifically for the beginners and the people who want to learn the admin part. So in this course you are going to get more than 50 hours of video content including PDFs and solution. And for this course we have covered every module in depth. You can see these are the modules that we have covered in this course that is introduction to salesforce salesforce navigation and setup so in the models you can see the table of content so that you will have an idea what are the topics that we have covered in this admin course and we have covered this course in 10 modules so it will take you around two to three months to complete this whole course and when it comes to the pricing we have kept it 199 dollars for the lifetime access so once you purchase this course you are going to get lifetime access for this course so this was all about the course and now let's move back to the topic. So right now we are back on the flow setup and to create the screen flow we will click on the new button that is new flow and here you have to select the option start from search and then click next and here we are going to create the screen flow so select a screen flow and then click create. So right now we are in the flow builder and to get the current record id we first need to define a variable. So to define the variable you have to click on this toggle icon on the left hand side and here you will see the button new resource to it. So you have to click on this button. So to create the new resource for the record id first we need to select the resource type. So it is going to be a variable and here we have to enter the api name. So make sure that you enter the api name as record id and, and nothing different than this. And the data type here is going to be the text because it is going to be a string. So here we have selected the data type as text because the id of the record is there in the form of a string so we have selected the data type as text and uh, here we don't need to check this option allowed multiple selection and also make sure that you have selected the option available for input so with this we have defined the variable for the record id so here click on the done button so after defining the variable to get the current record id we are going to add the get record elements so we are adding this to fetch the name of the current record also so for that we are going to add the get record element and if you only want the id of the current record you can skip this element so it will be get accounts and the api name will be auto field so here we will select the object account and the condition will be the id of the 
account record will, will equal to the value of variable record id so with this condition when the account id is equal to the variable of current record id that that is storing the id of current record will be equal so this condition is to fetch the account record and after this we are going to add the screen element in which we will display the account name as well as the record id so for that i will drag and drop the display text component to the screen so here we have to enter the api name for this component so i am going to name this component as display id so here we have to enter the resource so first i will enter a text that is current record id is and then we have to insert the resource so the resource to get the record id is the variable that we have created so i will select the record variable that we have created and for the account name i will first enter the text current record name is and again we will insert a resource for this that is account from get accounts and here select account name so with this it will display the id and the name of the current account record so with this the flow is completed so here we will click on the done button and here it is showing error so okay we haven't entered the label and api name for the screen element so i will label it as display parent record id in the api name here will be out of field so here again click on the done button so now the flow is completed and now we will save it so i am going to save this screen flow as display account id and the flow api name will be out of field so here at last click on the save button and as of now the flow is completed and now to use this flow in our record page we first need to activate it and after the activation we are going to deploy this flow so we have created this flow to get the record id of account object so for that i will navigate to the account object so here on the account record page we have to select any of the account record and here click on the gear icon and select edit page and from the components search for the flows component and now drag it to the record page region and drop it where you want to see the record id so i will place it over here and from the flows you have to select the flow that we have created right now to display the record id so our flow that we have created right now was display account display account id so yeah so this was the account that we have created right now to show the record id of the current account record and after this don't forget to activate the checkbox pass record id into this variable otherwise what happened when you will uh, deploy this flow without activating this checkbox it won't display the record id or the account name let me show you we have said this now i will go back to the record page and here you won't show and here you won't see the values of the record id as well as the account name so again i will open the lightning app builder from the edit page and here and when i select the checkbox pass record id into this variable you will see record id variable is appearing over here and again we will click on the save button and move back to the record page so here you will see this is the record id of the current account record and the name of the current record so you can match the record id from the url also this is the same record id that we can see over here so this is how you can face the id of the current record in salesforce screen flow and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye